hey you guys i am back with another watch me work and i have my daughter in today she is taking a little mini vacation so you know i could not send her out just looking any kind of way because <laughs> she was okay she had no nails on and i had not done them in a hot minute so she couldn't wait to get back in okay and she's taking a little mini vacation but mind you i am on vacation I took off the whole week and I came in just today for her. So, ain't I a good mama? So you can see I pulled out those extra, extra long tips that I got from SoCal Nails. Now I have been trying to use these more. I have not had the best of luck when it comes to deep C curve tips, but I am convinced y'all that I'm just not using them right. <laughs> Cause they work for everybody else so i'm like okay it is something that you're not doing right so i'm gonna keep using them until i figure out what it is okay and i get that bomb snatch shape because i need it in my life all right <laughs> so you can see i'm going in and just on the very tips like right there on the side i'm only gonna cut off a little bit so i did that first and then i came in and cut down her length now the reason why i'm only cutting off a little is because i'm scared y'all <laughs> i almost always over foul when i use these tips so i'm trying not to focus so much on the side walls i only want to focus on really the top part of the tip on the side because sometimes that ends up too fat to me and then I'll end up fouling too much off of where the sidewall is so I'm, I'm focused y'all <laughs> I am trying to just do right by these tips <laughs> so that's why I only took a little bit off the sides so once I have them all measured I'll go in and I'll file them and smooth them out and then we're ready for application so of course I dehydrated and I primed. So now I'm coming in with my color and this is not polish milky white. And this is the only color I'm going to be using. I'm gonna use this in my clear. So typically at the beginning of the year, we're kind of struggling when it comes to nail art. There's not too many things that are like trending, but here lately, honey, I have been seeing some things over and over again first those abstract lines everybody's been doing like those little swirly lines and now it's been like the little um flowers like little daisies little cute just simple flowers all of those have been trending and also like the edge nails so all of those things like i said i'll go through look at a whole bunch of pictures and then just kind of figure out what i want to do from there so I knew I wanted to do something clear. I did a set recently and it had clear tips and those swirled lines. So I really loved how it came out. So I knew I wanted to recreate something like that. So I'm going to be doing a French nail and on that French, when we get done, I'm going to be doing a edged outline. So that's what we're gonna do for the ring finger. Now the foundation, for this design is going to be very very basic <laughs> okay like I said I'm only using one color so I'm gonna do the French on the ring finger and then also on the pointer finger I will be doing a French and like I said this is going to be clear so I'm going to make my base my nail bed the milky white and then when I cap it I'm just going to cap it all in clear and y'all i am going to make a disclaimer now i've already said this is my daughter this is not my paying client this is not a customer so if you can notice how the angle of her hand is that's not my camera angled that is her hand okay <laughs> i struggle so much with her to get her in position i i readjust her constantly and the poor thing she she always says mama I, i'm relaxed i'm relaxed i'm still and i'm just like girl whew, child, if you weren't my daughter i would have fired you a long time ago <laughs> but of course i never will so i just fight through it honey and readjust 20 million times through this set so 
I apologize for the angle. That is what it is. It's it's my baby girl cannot get her hands right. You know, and I have clients like this too where they cannot relax their hands straight. They naturally hold it to the side. So <laughs> y'all know how, how it is if you have a client like that. I think that is um, so hard as a nail tech to get girls to relax and I'll never forget like when I was younger and I went and got my nails done and they used to always say relax your hand relax your hand I'm like Psh, I'm relaxed girl what you talking about but no th there is a huge difference in relaxed and not relaxed okay so <laughs> there's my little rant y'all but I just had to throw that in there because when I was going back over this I was looking over how the angle was and I was just like oh my word <laughs> the struggle so for that middle finger all I did was place a bead at the cuticle area and that finger is going to be just a fade so that white from the cuticle and then I'm just going to fade it into the tip just halfway I want my tip to be clear so like I said for the pointer finger, this one is going to be another French nail. So I'll go in and apply that and I always measure it to my other French. You never want to not do this because you can definitely tell if you skip this step. I was looking at some of my pictures like from two years ago and I did an all white French set and I kid y'all not, one of those nail beds was so longer than the other one i was like no you didn't let her leave like that <laughs> but they looked it okay but when i was looking back at them i was like no ma'am uh-uh you better not let that happen again <laughs> so always check your nail beds okay so i'm moving on to this pinky and this one is just going to be full color of this white so you know the deal i will start with one bead at the center of the nail I will apply that, walk it down, and then I'll come in with my cuticle bead to finish it off. So once I have that color built up, I will go in and cap it with clear. Now the thumb is also going to be just that fade. So here you can see I started with a small bead because I don't want a large size bead. I don't want it to go all the way to the tip. I'll even bring some of that down and then swipe my brush away from the tip to keep it clean and also I don't want a lot of it going down that way. So that does double duty for me when you wipe that tip with your brush. Once I do that, I'll come in with my cuticle bead and that'll just help bring all of that fade in. So coming back to my French, I'm going to start hand filing that into shape. So I've already kind of etched that nail bed out, but now what I'm doing is I'm going on the tip and just around where I applied that nail bed, I'm filing that tip also. Anytime that you apply a nail bed, you have a chance of getting that acrylic onto the tip. Now, if I was going in and just applying another color, no problem, I wouldn't even worry about it. But since this is going to be a clear tip, I don't want you to see none of that like shadow that's left behind from that white powder. So once I have that done, I thoroughly brushed away any dust. I also went in with my nail brush and really cleansed those nails off. I also went and cleaned out my monomer, my liquid, applied fresh monomer, and now I'm going in and applying my clear. Anytime I'm doing glass nails, I always make sure that I start with my color first, and then I'll clean out the bowl and start with fresh monomer. You want a very crystal clear application when you're doing this. So you have to apply wet and you have to apply clean. I am so eager to try this with gel, y'all, hard gel, because, I mean, you don't get no clearer than that, okay? <laughs> I always just worry about 
my structure when it comes to hard gel. I, I worry if it's going to last. So that is the only thing that's keeping me from doing that. But I know eventually I'll get to it and I'll start practicing more to where I feel comfortable doing it on a client because you just don't get no clearer than that, honey. And you want a glass nail? Boom, hard gel is the way to go. And when it comes to glass nails, my clear application is not going to be the same as if I'm applying it over color. Like I said, since I'm applying wet beads, you have to apply more. And I find that it's harder also when it comes to fouling because it's not a very smooth application when I'm basically doing this because I'm just applying those beads wet and really trying not to move that product so much. So it's not built up as good as it would be if I was just capping a regular nude nail. So it is more work, but definitely worth it. So once I have everything capped, I'm gonna go in and start my finished fouling. So like I said before, I always start with my hand foul, and then once I have everything put into shape, I'll come in with my e foul and smooth everything out. So once I have everything filed into shape, we're going to start our design. Now, like I said, I'm doing a gel polish design. So I'm going to be using some Madam Glam gel polishes and they are their neon polishes. <laughs> and you guys, I just got these. So I'm going to leave in the audio so you can hear my first reaction to these gel polishes. Oops. Right, Barbie pink neon. Damn, that is bright. Use it. Ooh, child. You don't know nothing about that guy. You, you want don't that know paint? That. No, okay. I don't know. I'm just showing. Ooh. That's neon for real. That's what it is. Ooh, baby. That's pretty. It's on the cheek. It's me. Oh, no, that looks pretty. Don't open it. Fresh water. Don't I open it. I show daddy this one. I want to see Let it. Let me show the people, ma'am. That blue is real pretty. What, you want to do the blue? Yep. Boy. Blue and pink. No, just one. Okay. Um, oh, but that pink was real bright and pretty. That green looks pretty too. Neon lime greenland. Ooh, chill. <gasps> that because I said so. Okay, Madam Glam, because I said so, hunty. Ooh. Ooh, that's real pretty. Ooh, that's pretty. <laughs> so y'all can see, I really loved these gel polishes. I don't even know if you can really tell on camera, but they were super bright. And this is perfect for all of those abstract nails everyone has been doing. I mean, they work so well in the pigmentation. Mm. I had did a neon set with some neon colors and I had to use pigments. So if I had these thin, oh my goodness, it would have been so easy, but... <laughs> If you have not gotten y'all any yet, I do have a coupon code to Madam Glam. So get you some, okay? <laughs> so it was hard, but we decided to go with the pink because I already had it in my head what I was going to do. And I wasn't going to let her switch it up. <laughs> so we stuck to the pink. So I'm just taking my beat up striper brush and making that edge outline. I don't know what was going on with my striping brush, but it was acting fun tea okay it was giving me a hard time but I made it through this set thank goodness and I just recently got some striping brushes from who was it from from magpie and I did use them since this video and bay bay this whole time y'all been using whack striper brushes that's pretty much what I think now <laughs> since I've used this magpie brush. It is the truth, honey. It it helped me so much when it came to doing just like a little abstract line, a little swivel, child, flick, and it was done, okay? <laughs> I always 
double check when I'm doing a design like this, the edge nail, because you can look at it from this point of view and you think that it's even, but as soon as you turn her finger around and you look the other way, you can tell where it's lacking. So I did have to do this a couple of times, go back in and pretty much like fatten up one side. It wasn't thick enough because you want it thin, but you want to be able to see it, you know, when she's holding up her hand. So I always double check from both angles. And if you have to go in and clean that little line up, honey, ain't no shame in my game. <laughs> if you can't lay it perfect, I bet I can clean it up so it's perfect, okay? <laughs> so for my ring finger, I'm going to go on that French nail and I am basically just going to be doing a outline of the tip. Now, this design has been trending big time. Like <laughs> the past two weeks, I have been seeing it everywhere so this is a nail that has been trending and i wish y'all i had the magpie <laughs> striper brush when i did this because it would have been so easy okay because i went in like i said with this brush i was having a hard time you even see that i switched to another brush and was trying to get it to work for me but with this design you basically just start doing the edge outline so on the outer perimeter you make your lines and then you come in and start carving out where your nail bed is at and that pretty much is it so simple but yet so beautiful i have i'm telling you i've been seeing it everywhere and i absolutely love it i already love french nails you guys know that so <laughs> anything french i'm just like oh Yes, I love it. Give it to me. I need it. And I want everybody else to have it. <laughs> and same thing, guys. I'm going to take my little nail art brush with some acetone and just clean that up. That's why I struggle with hand painting because I'm so OCD. I want it to be like perfect, okay? I don't want to see nothing outside of a line, nothing at all. <laughs> so that's why I'm going in and cleaning this up. So after I finish all of my outlines, I'm going to come in and add these pink butterflies. Now these are water slide decals that I got from Amazon a hot minute ago. And they came with like a ton of them. And they come in handy. I have been using them, you know, throughout the years and I'm pretty much running out. So I'll probably go on Amazon and order me some more. And I really love how they apply also. You can just place them on the finger and dab off the excess water and it is stuck to that nail, honey. Of course I go in and top coat it twice, but they, they stay real good. I have no complaints with these water slide decals. And you can see, I'm just placing them where I had the faded nails. That's why I wanted to leave that tip clear because I wanted to put those butterflies on there. I'm gonna do that on the middle finger and then also I believe the thumb was a faded nail. So off camera, I went in and applied some Swarovski crystals just to give her a little something something, you know, a little bling never hurt no one. And that was pretty much it that completed her set. Of course, I went in and I top coated the butterflies twice. I believe I even top coated everything twice just because of those gel polish outlines. I just want to make sure that everything is capped in and it's not going anywhere. So that is it, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me tell you, loved these nails, okay? Those clear tips. I don't know. It's just my my type of set, okay? <laughs> I loved it with the pink too. Well, thank you guys for hanging with me. Remember, if you're not already subscribed to me, please do so and go and follow me on Instagram and I will see you guys in another video. Bye.